So here we are, we're getting ready to do the heel. And so it's on this side, so I'm gonna run it through the very top over here. And I'm gonna pull this through. And then for the heel, all I do is I do a whip stitch all the way down. And then after I do the whip stitch, I run it back up this way just to lock everything in and hide the tail. So we don't want this video to run very long, so we're just gonna go on. And I go in about every other stitch. First one or two is always a little awkward because it's just a little tighter there. And I pull this really, really snug. And then I just move on and I keep doing that. We'll do that all the way to the end. So it's just a basic whip stitch through them. Try to get both. There we go. Like that way you've got both of the little V's on both pieces. And then just super, super snug. Okie dokie. We'll come back and we'll turn the sock inside out, or inside right, and go from there. Okay, so I've done the heel, and if you look, it just doesn't look that pretty. Um, so what I do to combat that is I put that to the inside, and ta-da, the outside looks much, much prettier. And so now we come to the toe, and remember, we basted that stuff in earlier, so we cinch it now. We cinch it closed this way. And just like a hat, you'll cinch that up and you'll sew it on, but don't cut your yarn. So we'll uh, do this. Believe it or not, we're close to done. Yeah, there's a lot of handwork on these, but they're just so daggum warm because it ends up being a double layer sock. So what I do here is I wanna make sure that I get to everything that's right here. sure I'm in all of that stuff really good. So what I'm trying to do here is put ends to ends. See? We got to end to end. So now I cinch it shut and then what I'm going to do is there's still more room for cinching. Cinch it just as snug as you can get it and then you have to kind of hold it. And then I just go across pick up some of these stitches in here. And the first time or two, it's a little awkward. But you can come kind of close to here, pull it through. And so what we're doing is now we're drawing all that stuff close together. And then I go across the other side and I gotta get in there and go across. I like to try to do this in any kind of an even pattern. Of course, this is really hard to do when we're doing lights for the camera. So my apologies for being so slow. Usually I can move this out pretty quick, but we pull this close. And as we do this, we begin to close that hole up nicely. And uh, we'll do this a couple more times. And then we will kind of bind this end off. And then we'll work our way up the uh, top of the foot with this same piece. So we've cinched the toe. So now what I wanna do is like we did when we were matching the ends earlier, is I wanna match my tops all the way down. To here. And this is the same piece and I want to find. And I go uh, right here. And we're just gonna do a mattress stitch. I gotta get in there. I gotta get in there. It's being dirty rotten little pain. Okay, so we catch two bars. One, two. See the two little bars? And we pull it through. We go to the other side. Let me make sure I got the right ones this way. Right here, and we go one. Two. And I do this until it's comfortable, but because I already have one of these done, then I go back to the other side, one, two. We've all seen the mattress stitch before, and if you haven't, it's just going from one side to the other, 
and yeah, it's loose, I know, but we, every so often, we run through, you pick up two bars, we'll cinch it closed, and if you do this right, especially if you're using a yarn that's the same color uh, all the way through, you won't be able to tell where one side of the sock is and the other side is of the slipper because you're splitting the V. See how we get right in here and we split the V? And so half that V is going to stay on top and half that V is going to end up inside the sock. And so I just run to and go all the way up. And every now and then, so I can show you how nifty the mattress stitch is, you just take it and you give it a really nice tight tug and voila. It's all closed up and you can't tell where. Okie dokie. Well, now as you can see, we've closed the top of the toe and uh, we just have to cinch it off, you know, tie it off because otherwise it'll just come undone. And I literally go through this side one time. But I want to close it up from the inside because I don't want it to show. So I'm going to pull this this way. It's being contrary, so let me turn it inside out. Oh, do we. So I got my string. Got my fiber. I'm going to pull that close. But I want to pull this, I want to, I want to really kind of snug this down so that it doesn't want to spread and come undone because it can be a weak spot. So you just tack this a little bit with a couple of stitches. And you can go down a little bit if you want to, like that. And then you go through just another time or so, run it through the yarn itself so it creates that little loopy thing there. Um, Ta-da! One of the things I like to do, because it's me, I like to put a little goof yarn in here. So to do that, just like when I make my socks, and I bury all that stuff in the hem, I'll uh, make my goof loop and, you know, shorter just by crocheting it together, because I know I can bury it between the double layers, and, um, you know, it's fun and easy, and, you know, pull some through, blah, blah, blah this bad boy off. Yeah, I always have too much on there, but I'd rather too much than not enough. Pull that snug. And remember, these are inside out, so you see bits and pieces here. And I get this between the layers. When it come up, I want to make sure I don't have any of my... Come on in! Sorry, we have company. My longtime First. beloved sweetheart is here. Say hi, John. You're on YouTube. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our OU football game has already started, so unfortunately, I'm not going to... I've already missed the first, like, 30 minutes of the game, which is a little... It's not going to be much of a game. It's already 14 to nothing. <laughs> Ooh, all right. <laughs> Boomer. Sooner. Heck yeah. Tech doesn't even have a first down yet. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. So, we've run that through. We snip off the tail pull it through. And what I love about this is it's just like our socks on our CSMs. It's a single uh, strand construction and ta-da! There are our slippers and I'm going to show them to you on my little fat feeties. And uh, they're comfy. Now these fit. You'll have to forgive. I have I have a new kitten in my house. These will fit me. I wear a size six wide, and um, but they also fit my daughter. They fit the spine, so you can fit them too. And because there's plenty of room in the toes, and there's our heel. You notice, yeah, it's a straight seam, but you don't. It doesn't. It doesn't fall. It ends up hitting just above, so you don't feel it. And I haven't found that the ends with the excess, um, because it's kind of like a hat, it custom fits, so this will stretch out quite a bit more to fit her foot. Here, put a foot out, woman. Put on a sock, or put on a slipper. We got slippers. We have CSM slippers with fingering weight yarn. 
Just a quick shout out again to uh, Mary McAnulty for sponsoring this YouTube video. And uh, we appreciate her a great deal. And la -dee da there's our figgies. I wear a size six wide, she wears a nine. Nine, nine and a half. Yep, so it has lots of stretch and her, you know, her, although I have a six wide, her foot's actually wider than mine. So, is it comfy? Yeah. Okay, you feel the heel bit when you walk around on them? No. What about the toe, does that bother you? No, which I'm picky about my toes, guys. I am too, and so yeah, but there you go. So, say bye!